use of potato water. So today we're boiling some potato peelings. These will get fed to the chickens today, but they get used for various things. But the water that we get from this is to be saved to make plant food from. So I'll show you how we do that. So once these have boiled, we allow it to cool and strain off the liquid. So the next stage is to strain the potatoes. The peelings, you can do this when you're boiling potatoes, not just peelings. But I just happened to be doing this today and thought I'd share it with you. Drain. Yeah. No. Once the potatoes have drained out of this, move on to the next stage. So next thing to do is to Decant that into a contain suitable container. <coughs> the reason that we're doing this and using this is that the starches that are released here contain all sorts of um, good nutrients for plants for aid in flowering and growing fruit so it's got all the um, phosphorus and potassium and all of those elements so the next stage is to take this and water it down so we want one third of this as total so that amount we put double that in of clear water preferably without chlorine so rainwater or something similar and so we'll add the extra water next okay so we'll take that measure that height there which is about where that is. So then we want to go one up to the second, the third one of those ridges, which is there. So we're just going to pour that in till we get to the right level. Uh, this also helps keep bugs off of plants and generally keep them healthy. So there we have our homemade plant food. So the next next thing to do is to put it in a sprayer to spray the plant, so we can spray the top of the the plant and also to put it in a, a watering system so we can like a watering can so we can feed the roots as well i hope you find this interesting and we can stop throwing away all those nutrients they don't need to go down the drain they need to go back into our plants and into our soil so i'd say the chickens are going to enjoy these now they love those once they're cool enough. No, they're still a little warm. But I shall feed them to the to the girls in a minute.
Uh, you can use this in lots of different ways, but <laughs> here we're going to put it in a sprayer and apply it to some of the vegetable plants. And I'll show you how to put it on the plant to ensure good healthy growth. So we can just spray it onto the foliage, onto the leaves, and into the ground around it. This introduces all the benefits. So when we're spraying these plants, we're giving them lots of nutrients. And the nutrients include potassium, magnesium, iron, and niacin, which is vitamin B3. It also contains vitamin C, vitamin B6, the starches. They're all good for the plants. They're also good for us as well. So the plants absorb these nutrients and then we get to eat them when we eat the plants. Uh, hope this was useful and interesting and happy growing. Don't throw away your potato peelings. Here you go, girls. Come on then. This way. How's that? <laughs>